The transition from undergraduate to masters is quite intense really. Um, for a masters course you're looking at a lot of different areas um, quite in detail. Now again it's different with the transition to PhD. PhD is more relaxed in a way because um, you have a, a, a longer period of time to do your own research and to focus on a particular area more in depth. Doing a research postgrad is definitely different to doing an undergraduate degree. You have a lot more independence. All of your work is self-motivated rather than necessarily being assigned to you. And you're developing the solutions based on the research rather than based on a set of questions. Um, so you get to figure out where you want the research to lead you. I find the transition from doing a master's to doing a PhD as quite a natural progression. I thought that through my master's I developed uh, the skills that I needed to do the research and to actually look at the problems and think about how to develop the techniques and enhance the techniques that I was using in my research. As well though, I think that a big help with the transition was the great support that I was given from my supervisors and from my research group. So the transition from um, undergraduate to MSc, um, I think from a teaching point of view, it's not really that different. Um, you still go into lectures, you would still be going to seminars, you would still be doing assignments in very much the same way that you would have done throughout your undergraduate. Um, in all honesty, one thing I would say is that my MSc year was probably one of the most intense years that I've ever done. The, the vast amount of knowledge that you learn throughout that year is just phenomenal and, and it, it was a very, very, very intense year but I took an awful lot from it and I learned an awful lot from it. My transition from MSc to PhD, I think the first couple of weeks you're a bit like deer in headlights, not sure what you should be doing, what is it to be a researcher? Um, but after your first couple of meetings with your supervisor, you start to find your feet, you start reading around your area, and you slowly start to realise what it is actually to be a researcher, um, what is your day-to-day -day life like as a researcher. You just sort of transition into that very, very naturally. But yeah, it can be a little bit of a, a shock to start off with.